in my past, I always desired that security that the person I was with was never going to leave. But the reality is no one can give us that. Mm -hmm. No one. We do the best we can in the moments we're together. And we learn from each other and we love each other and we grow together. But if we spend those moments afraid of what could happen, then we miss the opportunities to love each other, learn from each other, and grow together. And I didn't want to ever do that again, Mm -hmm. ever. I desired to soak in every ounce of love. I desired to soak in every ounce of learning about myself and learning about us together and really connect in the present moments. And if instead I was so scared and somehow I needed some guarantee from you that you honestly can't give me because none of us know what might happen even tomorrow. Death could take you. Any number of things could take you. So how can you guarantee me that you'll be with me? I know our souls are bound, but in physical form, there is no true guarantee. And so if I waste our time together, and I do mean waste our time together, by wishing for something that actually can't be given to me, then I'm going to miss the time that I am getting. And I never want to do that again to myself. So yes, this is somewhat selfish. But I don't want to do that to you either. And so that is where, when we came to the table with this, and I was expressing, it came from that true soul desire to say, let's be with each other in love and in connection every moment and do our best Because you're right, again, we are human and we feel. Fear and ego will come up from time to time. But this tool allows us to put it back in its place when it does. Yeah. It allows us to talk about it. So when these things come up, if we do have moments, it's not like we haven't had moments of fear in the last 10 years. You know, if something occurred and it's like, oh oh my gosh, like, you know, I'm having this feeling. You know, I don't, I know it's not in alignment with what we talked about, but I'm still having it. And then we just talk through it. And most of the time it's either a misunderstanding or it's just, uh, maybe it's nothing that you did. It's just a feeling I'm having that I, I just should be allowed to have and share it with you. And, and then it just brings us closer together or vice versa. You know, it's just, it, there, are, there are some social conditionings that it's, it's hard to just release, right? Yes. Yes, yes, you know, yes. I mean, even just the idea, like a lot of this, another word is ownership, like this idea of that we own the other person or that we love ourselves through the other person, which almost kind of can feel like ownership in a way too, right? Mm-hmm. And so there's all these different expressions of, of love that, that are fear-based instead of true love-based. And so I think through... Through this process, or through this, it's helped me realize that love isn't a result, it's a process. And then I can choose what to bring into that process. Do I want to bring fear into that process? Is that going to bring the best out of the love that we have? Absolutely not. Do I want to, do I want to bring the most joyous, connected, and abundant love into this process? Yeah, that's going to pull the best out of us. And so that's what I keep seeking to bring forward. That's what you keep seeking to bring forward. And we do this because we have the freedom and the expansion to do it. That's why this tool is so incredible. 